We got the generosity, man. Uh, he did a confessions video a couple months ago. It was traumatizing. And uh, we have another one now. With school confessions. These are about to be even worse. I already know. I already know. And that video was into like next level unhinged. I'm... Mm. I'm back. Let's see. Black. Last video, I asked you guys for your confessions, <laughs> specifically your school confessions on the crazy <laughs> your And after reading multiple submissions, I realized most of y'all schools have something in common. So much so, Yikes. it feels like all you guys went to the same school. Most of these confessions were about your freaky couples doing stuff in class or yep. in the hallways, the weird old teachers that were caught watching the dirty or trying yep. to do it with another student. People yep. getting leaked, a lot of explicit stuff going on. I swear, like crazy. Bro. Some of these submissions involve poop, beating it at school. And what did I tell you? What did I tell you? When he said he was doing a school confession video, I was like, here come the school beaters. I literally said that, bro. It's in kindergarten. Bro, it's kindergarten. I expect that. Maybe I should have thought ahead. I'm not really known for using my brain. <laughs> but if I have to read someone smearing poop in the bathroom. I don't understand what possesses people to do that. Like, I get it, we have free will, but you're choosing to do this with it? One more time, I'm gonna lose it! <laughs> like something else I've done recently. Literally. I cannot elaborate on. Coffee, 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 coffee. <laughs> Contract, let's sign it. So I'm just gonna go off and read my favorite <laughs> All right, let's start this out with nah, the show. Not a coffee contract, bro. To talk to a student, I check the teacher's search history and find Zootopia stuff. <laughs> you know, we're off to a good start. What? The school bathroom to piss. Will you ever forgive me? You actually used the school bathroom? That's crazy. You used the bathroom? <laughs> <That's> disgusting. <laughs> You wash your hands in the school bathroom too, you freak! I shared class with a super senior, and we were doing a homework assignment about school threats. I made a comment on how sometimes students make threats, all talk and no fight. The super senior called me a and started approaching me. I told his Yo. that if he wants to fight, let's fight. But the teacher pulled him aside and told him to go outside and calm down. And then this bitch ass motherfucker had the audacity to throw a water bottle at me. Yikes! And got sent to the office. The super senior looks like an edgy, quiet kid, low. Bro, you should have never met That's with crazy. Is it? First up on his list. I ain't gonna lie though, that's true. Like, if he a super senior, bro, he he been around a little bit longer, bro. I ain't gonna lie, you should have known better. I start being in that situation, you should have known better, bro. Magic the Gathering cards or something, you know, something that'll make him happy. This happened last yeah, year, and I went well. to the drinking fountain with my buddy after P, and yeah. I heard noises in the bathroom. So he went to check it out, and when we jumped to the look at the stalls, we saw the math teacher plowing the English teacher in the freaking male bathroom. It what? <laughs> nah, bruh. Between periods. <laughs> is freaking insane. He took a. That's not even that long, bro. In between periods, it's like a few minutes, bro. A picture of it and showed the school administration, and he got suspended for taking the picture, but both teachers were fired. Nah, what do you mean suspended for taking the That's proof. That's literally. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. Suspended. He took photo evidence of two teachers doing indecent exposure. In Literally, bro, in a school with children, bro, minors. Unless he spread it around to all the other students. Exactly. If he did that, that would have that would have been justified. But I doubt he did that, bro. Should have never got suspended. That's crazy, bro. Is that the English teacher was cheating on his wife. Yes. No. It was two male teachers, and he. Oh. I didn't, uh, I didn't put that together. He did say it was the male bathroom, but I didn't think. He had a $10 <laughs> in our class. Okay. 
<laughs> wait, 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 wait. Son <laughs> in their that class? That was cheating on his wife. Yes, it was two male teachers. And he had a son that was in our class. And bro, <laughs> never fake. Yo. Nah, if I was bro, I'd switch schools, man. Literally, <laughs> at that point, bro, you got us for schools, bro. They're literally. Back you got us for schools, bro. His dad did is almost as bad as having like an OnlyFans mom. You know, yeah. The will never stop. Yeah. I'm sorry for interruption. No coming back from that, bro. This video is also sponsored. Ah, cool. This video is sponsored. Nice, by man. W ad, bro. What are you waiting for? That thousand gold. Let us see it, bro. People that I did not. Now back to the video. There was this one dude who was friends with me since I moved to this state five years ago, and we've been drifting apart recently because he has some unsavory things about certain people that I did not want to be associated with. Yeah. For real, though. He was racist. He yep. was very into airsoft. Yeah, he was definitely racist. Yep. He didn't have a lot of friends, but he thought of me as a friend. Fast forward to now, and it's Halloween 2023. And this kid comes into school wearing a full military tactical outfit. Yo! Nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. With a bulletproof vest and a helmet. Everyone nah. Everyone already thought this kid was a threat. And today, people made sure to be extra nice to him. Just in case, you know. I'm glad I stopped being around this kid so much. Because I really do not want to be known around this guy. Nah. Friend friend is super weird, bro. I'm so glad that you got out of that friendship. But if I saw someone... Oh. I stopped being around this kid so much because I really no, 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 wait. Guy. Yeah, you're What is bro doing? Is this the state of TikTok now? Yo, it's like, um, it's a centipede or a millipede, bro. Centipede on the wall. What oh, is going is so on? Weird, I'm so glad that this could just be a Halloween decoration, actually. Got out of that friendship. Kind of minimal, but bro, is this the state of TikTok right now? But if I saw someone show up in that fit to school one day, literally, I'm going honestly, home. I'm, I'm yeah. exactly. I'm like, I'm literally turning around and going home. No, myself. Exactly, bro. Possibly gonna get shot. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Stolen off of him while he was taking a shit. Like, uh -huh. I'm just. <laughs> Nah, bro. I saw a video. I saw a video. It's actually a video my mom showed me, bro. This girl was just at some, I guess her friend's crib or something. Or put up to her house, was like about to unlock the door. And some dude pulled up on her, grabbed her leg, took her shoe off, and walked off. <laughs> Bro, I swear, I swear that's the that's same thing, bro. I'm not gonna stay at the school. I'm possibly. saying, bro, that's that's one of the two, bro. You either leave or you handle shot. that. I'm gonna leave. Some of got his. But this is devious. Pants stolen off of him while he was taking a shit. Like <laughs> that's devious, bro. Like someone just crawled under and yanked him off. Who the hell robbed him, Mr. Bean? My friend <laughs> to the school thought giving him to a teach. Big bro was moaning. <laughs> Wow. Oh but after the school heard of this, the teacher was fired and the thought was suspended for three weeks. That day is now known as, did that shit really happen? <laughs> Yikes, but I ain't gonna lie. Why'd they suspend her? I mean, she, they, he did say she was a school thought, but like still though, she's a victim, bro. I mean, I guess maybe that's why it's like a, you know, go to therapy type thing. I don't know. That's crazy though. Yes, you was not beating no damn demon. The fuck is you on? Yes, I am. I'm built different. Don't tell me like literally, it. bro. In the last DJ VR watch, people in the comments talk about you not being predator, bro. Uh, them clowns going, you know what I'm saying, bro? You think I'm afraid of a 20 foot clown, bro? Like, be be for real, bro. I don't care if they got alien, if they aliens, if they got ray guns, if they got clown cars with 500 uh, animatronic clowns, bro. I'm really about that, bro. Some clowns, bro. Come on, bro. Don't play with me, bro. In year eight, <laughs> funny, insane, funny, insane. No, literally, <laughs> literally. Some cold ass morning. This kid who I only talked to like once or twice, he was weird. Had asked me if I wanted to see son. I said yes, of course. And he opened his jacket to show me a grenade. This kid walked into school with a grenade, and when our classes started, the building he was in evacuated because he threw the grenade, pin still in, and everyone started screaming and raging. Yo. Police showed up and everyone got to find out what really happened. Turns out his grandpa fought in either World War II or the Vietnam War and kept the grenade as a memento, which is illegal, and this kid managed to get his hands on it. Yo. The police confiscated it. They safely destroyed it. A bunch of kids needed counseling, and the kid was taking some time to himself, which just meant he was expelled. But my school hates that word for some reason. Bruh, That's crazy. Kid approaches you 
and pulls out a grenade. Like, what do you do in that situation? Honestly, I don't know what I'll do because if he pulls the pin, <laughs> this video, bro. Away. If I run away, he's just gonna chuck that shit at me and I'll blow up. If I stay there, he's gonna stay there. Bro, you got three seconds to throw it back, bro. Me too, and I blow up. What you got three seconds to throw it back. God, he didn't pull the pin, and thankfully everybody at your school is safe. I'm Literally, because that that's crazy. That everyone had a major crush on. Turns out she was sleeping with everyone. Yeah, I know this because I might have slept with her. She got a Yo, you would run and with someone else while having a boyfriend. The boyfriend killed the random NPC and went to jail. What? This, she was questioned by police and told them that the boyfriend wasn't satisfying her. Turns out she had mental problems and went to a war. Fast forward seven years later, and my girlfriend meets this really nice person. It's the same girl. Nah! Run. <laughs> Basically. Nah, bro. I ain't gonna lie. If you crashing out over, over your high school girl, bro, you, you got bigger problems to worry about. I'm not gonna lie, because that's wild. I went to school because I was super mad at my teachers and classmates for making fun of me. I then walked in school, got patted down because one of my friends ratted on me, and I had got expelled. Thank God, bro. What's Literally. Stories, bro? You think You're crazy. Inside, no, I'm not. I hope you learn from this. Don't be a school threat. Right. It's not cool. Nah, dude. for real. When I was in high school, it was revealed that the mystery meat they've been giving us for almost four years was monkey meat. So apparently <laughs> the meat supplier for the school was a crooked piece of <laughs> who wanted to make a huge profit. So instead of chicken or I don't know, horse meat, he got us monkey meat. Let's just say the school was that can't be legal, like on an international level, that has to be illegal. What do you mean monkey meat? Where are you getting that from for <laughs> Nah, bro. For four years, this man was consistently being supplied with monkey meat. Literally, that's a lot of monkeys, bro. Like, it's not even like this was a one-time thing. Bro, bro, couldn't get some chicken from his normal supplier and was like, you know what, bro? I'm gonna just take this monkey meat. I don't know how you got it, but you know what I'm saying? No, this was a recurring thing. He was pulling up to a back alley somewhere with a minivan and was stuffing it full of monkey meat. Locked down afterwards, <laughs> and the supplier got arrested. That's just so gross. That's probably being served in every in high school, honestly. Based on some I've seen in my old school too. Ugh. That's monkey meat also. <laughs> no, that's real. Obama for all of this. If it wasn't for her. I, look, bro, I've said this before and I will say it again. Shout out to, you know what I'm saying, Miss Obama, but bro. School was never the same after she did what she did. I ain't gonna lie. It wasn't. It, it wasn't, wasn't bro. So basically, there has been this rumor going around, and it is that <laughs> Jimmy smashed Josh's girl. So people kept it away, of course, and it ain't true. But Josh, he's a rebellious MF. He picks fights, so you know what he did? He smacked his girl and beat Jimmy's ass. Uh -huh. Am I supposed to know what? who these people are? Alright, so I'm Not gonna for real, like what? around real quick. On okay. a bunch of short confessions I got. So I'll okay. as many confessions in this video as possible. So, Bet. three, two, one, let's go. I sold explosives at school. What is wrong with you people? Someone put rat poison inside the water. Yo! student. <laughs> Someone put laxatives in the school lunch. <laughs> nah, because I swear. I saw a skit of this once, bro. It was like someone put laxatives in the school lunch. It was like kids just like having explosive diarrhea in the hallway, like running to the bathrooms. I've seen a skit with that before. Yeah. Great. That was hilarious. Yikes. I smoked a blunt. Got what y'all be doing in them group chats, man? That's crazy. Two hours and 16 minutes. Bro, timed it. What the hell? My teacher said I'd be a failure. Speaking? So I slept with her husband. If only. <laughs> <laughs> That's the crazy get back. Uh, if I only don't. you knew? So why don't you tell him? The fat kid in my school fought uh. someone over a cheeseburger. <laughs> <laughs> Nutted in a sex. <laughs> 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 Nah, why would you do that, bro? That saxophone did not deserve that, man. A girl got pregnant with her stepbrother's kid and had a miscarriage in a fight. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. okay. I shoved my backpack Charlie stick up multiple people's asses. The bees attacked the entire school. It was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, bro. What we going on at y'all schools, bro? Born as hell, bro. Not for like, like, I've never, I have never got nothing to say. Same. I was eating literally like that's that's crazy. Some dude walked in thinking no one is in there, and I ended up spraying on him. Nah. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I've said this before and I will continue to say this again. We need to bring back ethical bullying. Okay? Bullying in general is bad. You know, it definitely is harmful towards someone's development. But ethical bullying is necessary. Hear me out. There's no reason that you should feel compelled to do this at school. And then spray your bodily fluids on another man in the bathroom at school. You deserve to get beat up every day. Every day. Th these, these types of people need some sense knocked into them, bro. Because what do you mean you was... Yo, bro. Some dude walked in thinking no one is in there and I ended up spraying on him. This is literally hero gasm from the boys that's literally what that is but at school bro yes. that's even worse i was caught reading yaoi in class i do homeschooling by the way and had two teachers sit at both sides of my table so your parents call you xbox like what xbox also, someone was stabbed over two dollars you see what i'm saying you see if bullying was a thing that kid would have never crashed out and stabbed someone over two dollars bro two dollars like, I don't think these people really understand how that sounds, bro. Imagine you go to jail, right? And you, you get in there. What are you in here for? You stab someone over $2. How dumb are you, bro? Right, enough with the speed run round. Let, let's here we go. Let's go to the normal confessions, you know? So I used to run a school confession Instagram account. Okay. There was one confession that I got about a girl f***ing a dog and got pregnant. I don't want to say what, who, what types of people's problem this is, but y'all know exactly who be doing these types of activities, bro. Y'all know exactly who be doing these types of activities. Now, I don't want to say it, but y'all know. I know y'all know, bro. Because what kind of, yes, them. Yes, them. It's them. It's no one else. I know it's no one else. It's no one else. It's them. It's them. It's, it's only them. How is Jesus that Christ. I didn't even know that. I live in like, an Islamic, oh my God. An Islamic school, which okay. we all know means the guys and gals are separated. Yeah. And the only way we can even sniff the guy's presence is to talk to them on Insta or whatever. Mm. But some freaking how, one of the girls from my class had S, unfiltered, pure S, with a guy in one of the girls' bathrooms in that's that's her on the girls section i know it is bro it's worse because not only did this happen in seventh grade but also a parent yo nah bro nah bro nah bro what is what what siblings which kind of explains how they were able to meet up but still his mother efforts got expelled when they found out but i hope so Oh my goodness! <laughs> S squirrel! <laughs> oh man, bro, I'm sick of this, bro. Oh, the girl got I'm sick of this. And from what I've heard, it was twins. Oh my god, they twins had, had the babies. Uh, and to this day, I will never find find out why she had S in the school bathroom with her half brother. Someone please I mean honestly though this is proof that abstinence does like teaching abstinence does nothing. It really does nothing. It's more harmful than it is good. But besides the point, man. This is some Maybe sick stuff, bro. Life. Help! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I will never what? find out why she had S in the school bathroom with her half brother. Someone please save me from this freaking life. Oh. Uh. 
half, bro. That said something else. Half, not even a step, bro. The half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jump off the second story of the school auditorium. Yo. We still got the test. Did the kid live? Yo, that's insane. Willing to sacrifice your legs to avoid a Spanish test just to still get the test and fail. You'd have to watch out for me, bro. Once for real, though. Great, I saw my crush walk into the girls' bathroom to take a dump. And after she was done, I licked the toilet seat. You are disgusting. Um, Your mother does not love you. You guys are what? self restraint. The crazy. Not even self restraint. You shouldn't be having the thoughts to follow. You're not even, not even. Wait till your crush is done in the bathroom and then look. Why are you imagining that scenario and then carrying it out? Bro, y'all make me sick, bro. In my school in the UK would definitely be <laughs> No, he's going back. <laughs> bro, literally, bro, just brimstone for eternity. Cause what? Needle and started stabbing other kids with it. Yo! He started to say that it was A's, and as you may be able to predict, a lot of kids ain't appreciate it. So a lot of them try to f I ain't gonna lie, bro. All due respect, that kid would've... Mm, he would've ended up in a certain... You know what I'm saying? Cause nah, bro. But he was so quick. Until a bunch of kids... Yeah, he was quick. Ah, he wouldn't have been quicker than me. Just to beat the living hell out of him. Yeah. This thing is over. Two feds charged in the classroom and literally tackled him to the ground and cuffed him. So yeah, we all wondered why the teachers ain't do anything. Cause like, this kind of thing doesn't go unnoticed. Well, that's because they literally called the cops and didn't want him to expect it. Mm. The teachers didn't do anything because they didn't want to catch AIDS either. They just waited <laughs> for the cops. A whole investigation <laughs> took place. And I'm pretty sure our school made the news, but there's a Yo. lot they missed out. Anyways, fuck you, you syringe swinging. Literally, bro. Detectives and search North Korea airport style for the next year. Going into school and purposely trying to spread AIDS is a act that only the most. That's what I'm just like, bro. These people need to be handled, bro. Like, there's no. Re this is this is the result of playing Fortnite all day. The parents at work, they doing whatever they doing, trying to make some money because the economy's so bad. So this kid's at home. That, that's terrorism. It is. That is domestic terrorism. Literally, that's a biohazard. Uh, a whole lot of things. But anyways, this kid doesn't do their homework. They probably just play Fortnite all day and watch TikToks and then go to school and stab people with needles saying they give, saying they give them AIDS. There's no type of development there, bro. This, this, this is the future, Chad. That's the problem. This is the future. Like, these people will eventually be, like, presidents and, like, you know, handle stuff one day. Probably. Do. I don't know. Safe, bro, and I hope you didn't catch the virus. All right, bro, check it, because you will genuinely not believe this not there we from go. an area called the DMV. And yeah. let me tell you something. Bitches in the DMV are batshit crazy. Back in the Real. seventh grade, I had a very deadly beef with practically everybody in my grade. Yeah, I shit with like nine people, but the rest wanted to see my ass more dead than Will Smith's career. One night Yikes. when I came home from school, I was chilling in my room when my mom breaks down the door like SEAL Team 6 and snatched my phone out my hands like it's a ghetto girl's weed. She starts scrolling through it and goes Yikes. into my camera roll, then proceeds to tell the person who she was on the phone with that my phone was clean. It was my principal. I was weirded the fuck out until she came back 30 minutes later asking me if I had made any threatening or even said things that sounded remotely threatening about my school. I said no, yeah, but she proceeded to show me an email with screenshots of a Snapchat account with vaguely threatening messages. The Snapchat account was a fake account of me, and I was shocked. Yikes. My mom told me to go to bed, says my principal, who was known for calling the police a lot over small things. I called the cops to protect the school again. We're going to have to go to the police station to clear everything out with the cops and explain the situation to me. What I was able to find out through some digging and a fucking confession to one of my friends who went undercover was that mm. this was another one of my ex-best friend's ploys to get me expelled. They Yo! VPN, all accounts and burner devices to fake an account of me. Yo! Short, I ended up leaving the school and finishing my last month online, aka watching Netflix all day. While my brother went online, exposed their evil deeds, and the culprits got beat up for W get back. At least there's a happy ending. Damn. W get back, bro. Because why are you hacking in, in high school, bro? Like, that's crazy. I never understood having ops in literally young of an age. Mo is beefing with Elliot Alderson. <laughs> <laughs> 
damn, bro. What you do to have so that's much crazy so many people? That's bro. what I'm not for real. Cause he did say he was beefing with like the whole school. So to be honest, it sounds like he had it coming. But like either way, either way, that doesn't justify like faking. You know what I'm saying? One last one. There's this pick me that literally oh, God. No likes, not even the teachers. So like last week we had a history test. Everyone loves the history teacher. And the class was dead. Shout stuff. out to history teachers, bro. I feel like most of the coolest teachers be like history teachers. I ain't gonna lie. You know, working hard and stuff. But like near the end of the class, the pick me got up and yelled, "I'm done!" And everyone looked at her, and this boy shut told her to shut the fuck up. up. The teacher heard it, and she didn't say anything. So pick me was complaining how it was unfair and how everyone is so rude and all the teacher was doing is staring at her and the pick me said that's why you have so many miscarriages yo nah bro that's crazy that's crazy in the hospital or after her hurt. nah i ain't gonna lie bro i ain't gonna lie if i was that teacher i would have lost my job that day i would have lost if i was her if I was her, I would have lost my job that day. I ain't gonna lie. I would have lost my job, bro. Because what? The teacher got up and smacked. See? See, bro? I would have lost my job, bro. That's so real. Because that's crazy. Me got up and beat the shit. Nah, bro. The big me. She ran out of class and came back. Yo, that's so funny. That's so funny. Deserved though. I said the pick me was deserved for attention, and people told the principal what the pick me said about the teacher, so she got suspended. The class made a promise to never speak about what actually happened and to protect the history teacher. I can't tell if you. Guys Shane lose. Nah, that's hard, bro. That's hard. W class. I ain't gonna lie. But w class. The they taking that to the grave, bro. Story, bro. I don't know whose side to take on this one, so I'ma just I'm taking the teacher side, bro. What? My mom, and that's all the confession we've been doing today. <laughs> These were a lot more tight than the last ones, but I'm not trying to get age restricted again. For real. Most of the confessions I didn't read were just like, you know, school beaters yep. and weird teachers, you know. Yep. That, that was the usual. Confessions. The I'll usual. Send do this again in the future. I love reading you guys' confessions. I really do. With a different topic in mind. Such Thank a classic vid, bro. Sponsoring this video. Remember to click my link in the description to get the exclusive. W vid, man. I hope you enjoyed. It sent me through a roller coaster of emotions, but it was great. I'm trying to buy a Hellcat, okay? Ooh. Okay. Okay, man. Yeah, this one was way better than the last one because the last one was just like, I mean, don't get me wrong. There was some stuff in here that was genuinely just unhinged and wrong. Like a lot of people in this video are going straight to hell. No, no type of judgment needed. They're going straight down. You know what I mean? Express. <laughs> Amazon Prime same day delivery like they you know what I'm saying but other than that wasn't that crazy at least compared to the last one the last one was just ugh, my goodness bro